I've recommended this new grip 4-in-1 selfie stick tripod to a lot of people before even owning one myself. I've now finally got one so let's take a look at what it's like and why I recommended it. Let's get straight to it. The new grip has four functions in one bit of kit. It's a hand grip, an extendable selfie stick, a tripod and it floats on water. As a hand grip it's not small to hold so you wouldn't describe it as compact but it's not really meant to be. The selling point here is that it's easy to grip hold of when you're in the water. The size of this grip is also good for a sport like skiing where you haven't got the dexterity in your hands because you've got big fat gloves on and this grip is just really easy to grab hold of. The handle is solid plastic but with a soft grippy texture on each leg and it's much grippier than the GoPro Max Grip selfie stick. It's 40mm wide at the base tapering to a slightly narrower 35mm at the top of the grip. For use with a 360 camera this tapered design does help it not being seen in your shots but the overall size of it does leave your hand looking a bit distorted. In this short size though as a grip you wouldn't usually try and get a floating camera look with your 360 camera. You'd shoot with a standard GoPro camera or in single lens mode say with a 1x2 to get selfies and POV shots. It has an overall length of 23cm so 9 inches when closed. Even though it's bigger than the average grip it's super lightweight weighing only 152 grams and feels really comfortable to hold. The grip has an integrated aluminium GoPro finger mount so it's perfect for action sports and the GoPro mount will ensure your camera stays locked tight to the grip. And it comes with a winged thumb screw as well which makes makes it easier to tighten and loosen and means you can create a really tight fit when attaching your camera. For added security of the camera and grip it comes with a hand strap as well and unlike most hand straps this one is attached to the top of the grip so if you do let go it doesn't fall very far from your hand and you're less likely to have it smash into something. Even though the new grip does extend which we'll look at in a minute when it's in closed position as a grip it locks dead tight so there's no worry of accidentally extending. To unlock it you simply twist the top and it clicks three times and then you have a selfie stick that extends to 22 inches. There are three sections and the sections are small enough that they'll be invisible in your 360 shots. You twist it again to lock it in place and you can lock it off at any point in between. For action sports at this length it's short enough that it won't bend and it feels robust if you're thrown around or it's getting smashed by the waves. The grip itself opens up to give you a super wide tripod with a 10 inch leg span and you can use the tripod with the pole extended or shut. But because it's so lightweight you have to be careful extending it in windy conditions. The wide legs mean you can put it down pretty much anywhere even on bumpy ground and it's really stable. Even in the water with a gentle tide coming in I had no worries about it toppling over. And when closed the legs are held together with small magnets to stop them opening accidentally. The killer feature with the new grip is the fact that it's waterproof and not only that but it floats on water. So many people have asked me on this channel what selfie stick I recommend that's waterproof and this is the only one that I know of that has being waterproof as one of its main features. And it's waterproof up to 18 meters. And above everything else this makes the new grip perfect for having fun in the water and for water sports. If a selfie stick isn't designed for water then over time the water will damage the mechanisms within the selfie stick and it will just end up falling apart. The fact that it floats is great if you accidentally drop it in the water but the really cool thing about the design is that you can attach the camera and float it upside down giving you an underwater tripod and the bright orange tips on the end of the tripod make it really easy to spot in the water as well. The new grip takes the worry out of losing your camera in the water or damaging your selfie stick while you're swimming. It's been well thought out for action sports and water sports and the idea of an upside down underwater floating tripod is a genius idea. The new grip is ridiculously popular and keeps going out of stock but you can sign up on their website for stock notification if it's out of stock so I've left a link in the description below. If you're interested in more accessories for your 360 cameras you can watch these two videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.